Hello everyone, it's January 29th, uh, Winter Games weekend. It's Dr. Zach Boris uh, from Dickinson County Board of Health and Lakes Regional Family Medicine in Spirit Lake, Iowa. I uh, want to give you a brief update on where we are with vaccinations for COVID-19. I'm gonna take off my mask, um, my very pretty flower mask. Um, so we are finally at a point where we are starting to be able to vaccinate the general public and we are very, very excited about it. Um, so I wanted to go through a little bit of where we are in that, um, pro in that progression, uh, how we are getting information, how you can get your information to um, the public health department and um, what the process is going to be like and what it has been like. So we have completed, at least for the most part, uh, stage phase 1A, which is healthcare workers and those who are residents of nursing homes and assisted livings. The nursing home and assisted living piece is being done by uh, long-term care pharmacies, uh, CVS and, and Walgreens for the most part. So that's being taken care of, uh, and thankfully all of our facilities locally have started that process. Um, and we have done over 500 individuals in the health uh, field as well in our site here, so we're very pleased about that, um, getting the, those on the front lines really uh, getting safer. So. Um, we have been allowed now by the state to move into phase 1B. Um, and we had been saying that was 75 and older plus some essential workers. Um, as of last Thursday, they threw a curveball, which I think is actually a wonderful thing in that it is now uh, 65 and older. Um, and then they tiered it out in terms of priorities as well in terms of um, uh, phase 1B tier 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, so we'll go through what that means and then how you can get it uh, or here. Um, so uh, phase 1B uh, means anyone who's 65 or older uh, qualifies. And uh, tier 1, which we've already started, is first responders like police and fire. Um, and so actually we've already made progress and have vaccinated pretty much everyone in the county who qualifies for that piece. Second part of 1B is teachers and childcare workers, and we are planning for that. Um, so then um, tier two is food and agriculture workers um, who are in close quarters during their work or who live in close quarters with other food or agriculture workers. So on a large farm where there might be co-housing uh, or people who are on a production line um, at a meat packing plant and such. Um, or folks who are living in home settings who have disabilities in group homes. We've actually been able to uh, get a few of those done uh, by other means as well uh, already um, in 1A uh, based on some previous guidelines, thankfully. But um, then we're getting into congregate living settings, not including college dormitories and government officials um, in Tier 3, um, and then some public health and public safety folks in Tier 4, and then correctional uh, facilities and incarcerated folks in Tier 5. So again, we are in phase 1B, tier one. Um, we would love to be able to say that if you're 65 and over, come on in and get, uh, get your shot. That said, uh, the state of Iowa's supplies have been very short. And so for this coming week, we have gotten 200 shots. Uh, as of right now, based on the information that we've gotten, uh, we have over 3,000 people who would fit into uh, phase uh, 1B. And so 200 shots in a week is not going to cover anywhere near that much. So we as a hospital are trying and a public health department are working together and we are um, trying to tier it based on those who are at most advanced risk for uh, getting severely ill. So uh, we have started vaccinating 1B. However, most of those folks are the extremely elderly or those with significant medical issues who are also over 65. Um, so the way that you can get on this list is either to go to lakeshealth.org and click on the uh, COVID questionnaire uh, button and you can fill out the survey monkey. Um, if you're having trouble or if you don't have access to that or if you're getting issues, you can call public health directly at uh, 339-6050 and give them your information. That'll include your name, your address, your age, whether you have comorbid conditions and what your job is. And that's for anybody. Um, because we want, if you're 35 and healthy and don't work in one of those essential uh, fields, we still want to know if you want it, uh, even though it might be six months from now, unfortunately. We're hoping it's a lot sooner than that that the general public can get it. Um, so if you go there and fill it in, so again, lakeshealth.org is the website, or we'll put a link down below, doing my YouTube thing, um, you'll be able to 
you fill out the information. If you have elderly relatives or parents or grandparents or friends who don't have internet access and you'd like to do it for them, um, you can do that too. Just fill it out for them and let them know that you've done so. Some You'd be surprised, lots of folks have, have been able to get, get it done or have called. So check before you do it so we don't have duplicates. But again, we are trying to identify based on age and comorbid conditions, so uh, lung disease, kidney disease, heart disease, immunosuppressed status, who is the most at risk in our community? Because we know that many of those folks have been sitting in their homes, not seeing loved ones uh, for nine, 10 months now, and it's gotten really challenging, uh, and we want them to be able to return to some level of normalcy uh, in the coming months. We want everyone to. So in the meantime, we are hopeful that we get more than 200 shots a week going forward. Uh, time will tell. Um, the Biden administration has just started saying that they're going to start giving us um, information about allocations three, in three week chunks towards the states and we hope that that continues um, in terms of getting it to the local level as well so then we'll be able to predict and plan more. Um, but hopefully this helps reduce numbers of calls to public health and to the clinic. Um, if you have questions you can certainly call that 6050 number or call your, your uh, clinic. Um, but again, most of the information is out on the website. Um, we'll be doing as much press as we can uh, to let you know when it is your turn, but expect a call or an email as we hopefully start getting thousands of vaccines at once. We will probably open up to online uh, appointments. Uh, and so just a matter of when we get those. Um, we would love to be able to do 1,000, 2,000 in a week, but again, 200 in a week, we are still just calling folks who qualify and getting them on the books um, for appointments for next week. So again, we're in 1B. Uh, teachers, we are working on uh, figuring out when you will qualify as well. Uh, we are getting some of those who are at the highest risk first. We thank you for your patience. We know this is frustrating, especially if you're seeing elsewhere in the country or even elsewhere in the state um, that you might be, or that your colleagues might be getting uh, access. Um, but with the limited supply, we've just had to uh, do our best to um, tear it out in terms of those at highest risk. And you've been doing such a good job at schools locally, which we're so thankful for, that um, we appreciate your patience and waiting a little bit longer. But you are in this group, we will get to you, um, and hopefully our supply opens up soon. So. Um, this has been posted on, on the Facebook page. This is those tiers, just so you can uh, see it. And then uh, we also put out a, a press release with a lot of these details uh, today as well. Um, again, if you have got questions or um, if you still haven't been able to sign up online or um, by phone, feel free to do so at lakeshealth.org or 339-6050. Thank you for your patience with us. It feels so good to be able to be vaccinating and protecting our community. In the meantime, uh, we are thankfully seeing a lull in cases and hopefully that continues, but we've had somewhere around 38 deaths in our county. This is not going away and we're still concerned about these higher uh, virulence strains that are coming our way probably in the next couple months. So continue your diligence, please wear a mask. Uh, even wear two now they're saying, uh, if you can. Um, but getting everybody to wear one mask is better than a few of us wearing two masks. So do your best, take care of each other, take care of yourself, and we'll get through this. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Have a good weekend.